Jay Drone here. This is Airhawks Nano Drone. We're going to go ahead and get the controller binded to it. I'm going to turn the controller on with the quad on. It binds to itself. You don't have to do the whole throttle up, throttle down thing. And you are ready to go. I do have this in the second speed setting. We do have a 5 mile an hour wind blowing directly at us. So this is going to be kind of an aggressive flight, and I'm also doing a time trial here. This is a fully charged battery. I did have this out prior to this flight, right out of the box, a RTF flight, ready to fly. See how long it got. It got about three and a half minutes to four minutes, which wasn't bad. Um, and this does have a flip feature, your top right toggle if you press that, and your directional up, down, left, right. Up, down will do your front and back flips. Left, right will do your left and right barrel rolls. This is a very cool looking quad, the silver and green combo, I'm liking a lot. Um, again, this is an aggressive flight for, and yeah, I think the wind just grabbed it. Yep. <laughs> so we're going to drop throttle here and we're going to go get it. So that was actually up there pretty high, that was probably up maybe 100 feet, give or take, and we just dropped throttle completely, let's see if it's broken, kind of a durability test too. Um, Take it back over here away from the road in case the wind grabs again. Again, five mile an hour for a larger quad, something like your CMAX 5C series or your striker isn't much of an issue, but for a nano quad like this, it's a slight issue because the quad weighs next to nothing, so the wind pushing against it would be like a 10 to 15 mile an hour wind on a larger quad. But as you can see here, it's doing well. I'm able to fly, I'm able to fight the wind and I'm having zero issues minus going up really high and that gust taking it backwards so we're not going to go up too too high in this just because I don't want it over the road and I don't want to lose this because if you guys realize when you're lower to the ground you have more cover from the wind if you are completely high up you're losing that cover and the wind is getting stronger so if it's a five mile an hour wind it's probably like a 67 up there because you have nothing blocking. And this is flying nice. Very responsive. Uh, I move it left, I move it right, it goes left, right, I move it forward, it goes forward. And as you can see, I have it out there decent ways. I mean, honestly, you probably wouldn't want to take it too, too much further because uh, I had kind of had it as a, like a little dot there. And if you go out past your uh, point of view where you can't see it anymore, you're going to lose it and with this being green and silver it kind of mimics the surroundings that I'm in and it's very small so to be able to find it is going to be an issue but you can see I've taken it up there a little bit in altitude despite the wind just to show you this thing can fly it is a good outdoor flyer um, if you do have any more than a five to six mile an hour wind I don't suggest you taking this outside it does have propeller guards you will be safe in the house flying this and it is small enough in the house to fly it so you have no issues zooming around in your house uh, scaring your pets if you want to um, or just practice and flying if you're a new flyer trying to get the gist of the controls yeah this is a nice flyer guys um, again this is a time flight and a little bit of a range flight as you can see I'm going up here a little bit in range and I've gone out a little bit in range and uh, just a general look at this quad I'm liking it a lot um, we also did kind of a durability test it flew it overhead the wind grabbed it and took it and I had to kill throttle you see the yaw right there the yaw is actually very quick on this I like a drone with a quick yaw rate and by yaw rate I mean its rotation when you spin it how quickly it rotates there's a good look at it there freeze very stable flyer you have indicator lights on the bottom and I believe on the top you also have little red ones so night flyer I'd say so, definitely. And again, there's a look at the flip. It is a crisp flip, um, but with wind you have to be careful. You want to kind of flip into the wind, and if you barrel roll, like I just did, with the wind, the wind's going to take it. And that's just me not knowing the orientation. I tossed it up and did not have it forward and flew it forward. So essentially it flew backwards because when you're flying towards yourself, the controls are inverted. Now this drone does also come with the axle that goes across the center of the body and has like large pinwheels that stick off of the axle. 
and from what I'm reading it says it can crawl up walls and ceilings and whatnot would definitely have to give that a test and throw them wheels on and even take it out here in this dirt and see if it could uh, manage across here I guess kinda like a RC car or something um, we'll definitely look into that more but as far as a flying drone it's past the test for me guys um, definitely don't take this past your range of sight once it gets to a little spec keep it there and bring it back you don't want to lose it um, if you're in extreme wind like I said the winds blowing towards me so I'm able to fly out and allow the wind to bring it back to me if the wind was blowing away from me so the direction that we're generally flying in out away from me that wouldn't be good because then you'd have to try to fight to come back you always want to fly against the wind that way it can bring it back to you and there's another look at a flip you can see I did a flip and it kind of moved backwards but it was able to catch this is a good drone guys for a nano drone to be able to fly in wind, a five mile an hour wind, and be steady, you can see it's steady here. I'm trying to get you good, uh, good footage here of it in my head cam. I'm gonna definitely stamp it on a good flyer. The link will be down below. Airhawk is a new company. They just got this drone out to me, and uh, we're giving it a test. I believe the battery is just about done here. Yeah, the battery is probably just about done. So on a very aggressive flight, we've pulled easy six minutes. Um, yeah, lights are blinking. Battery's done. I'm J 